so I'm going to create a simple looking design at here so for that you need to add a cube shift a add a cube and then go to the edit mode and then add a loop cut like this with a control R and select that loop cut and then control B and add a bevel on that loop cut in this way give the proper bevel width now you need to select this face loop and then use the extrude along the normal at here and extrude it in this way and here you need to keep this offset even turn on this offset even and give the offset at here 5 will be fine okay I'm going to add one cylinder with the 32 words and then move the cylinder along the z-axis and scale it down that's like this just go to the edit mode of that cylinder select these words and then move these words along the z-axis and here I want to create a tapper kind of form so that's why I just scale down these words in this way and we got something like this you can turn on the wireframe and you can just adjust the scale little bit in this way now the next thing is you need to select these two objects and then press alt x and then use the boolean operation union and then you can apply this boolean modifier and then you can delete the cylinder so here you can see we have got this kind of mesh now we need to create the right topology for this mesh how we can do this okay so first thing is you need to select this word and then merge these words turn on the x-ray mode select these words and merge them as I like this now just I want to take a symmetry select everything mesh and then symmetrize I just want to rotate it and then apply the rotation and I will delete the one third of the model and then you can add the mirror modifier and turn on the merging and clipping option okay now just we need to work on this part at here let's start to work on it use the knife tool and create a cut like this in this way select this complete each loop in this way and then press ctrl b and add a bevel at there and increase the shape factor and increase the segment up to 2 so you will get this kind of loop structure at there and give the proper bevel width ok that looks like this then you can add a loop cut like this then you can add one loop cut like this then you can add loop cut in this way and one loop cut in this way with the same factor then here you need to use the knife tool select this word and then create a cut along the y axis in this way and then I'm going to hit ctrl 2 to add the sub D modifier and you can see the results we are getting at here just go to the edit mode then add one loop cut at here with the same factor then I'm going to use one more time the knife tool then I'm going to create one cut in this way use the knife tool and create a cut as like this and you can see that looks pretty well now just go here into this object data properties and here is the normal option and turn off this auto smooth now just select this top faces and press I for the insert operation and just turn off this boundary option after that the simple thing we need to do we need to use the knife tool and we need to create the proper cuts at there in this way you can create this kind of cuts then you can create a cut like this with the help of knife tool just create a cut in this way okay that's look cool and you can create this kind of loop structure or you can create a simple straight cut that's also fine but here I have created this kind of loop structure and this thing also looks well now just I need to merge the words so I got the loop structure which goes like this and I got one loop structure which goes like this and here I didn't create any kind of loop structure but this kind of shading we usually gets on the joining parts of models and now I will shift D to duplicate it just for the backup and here I will try to create a loop structure also which will be like this so I can connect the words in this way I can dissolve these edge loops you can check the matcap view 
and you can see I'm getting pretty good results at there so I will keep it as it is here also you can add loop cuts you can merge the words at there and that's look fine you can create this kind of shading for the joining part for that just we need to merge these words we can add few more supportive loop cuts to maintain the form now just I will apply the mirror modifier and then I'm going to select these faces press I for the insert operation use one more time the insert operation tool then you can select these faces use the loop tool and circle option just try to rotate these faces in this way and then use one more time the insert operation and extrude inside I just wanted to show you how you can combine the cylindrical form on the edge of that cube it's like this kind of design you can find this kind of designs in the mechanical objects so that's it for today thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then please hit that like button and subscribe to our youtube channel if you want to support this youtube channel then you can join the membership bye bye so next video take care